Hi everybody, it's Rhiannon. Welcome back to Mama Ray Plans, or welcome if you are new here. Today we are going to be filming a plan with me in my Plum Paper Daily. We are going to be using this gorgeous kit from Life in Envelopes. I always have Jennifer and her shop, Life in Envelopes, linked down below with a coupon code for 15% off. The code, um, excuse me, the kit is called Modern Fall. I figured this was probably my last opportunity to use a fall kit since we are now kind of in the holiday season, but I figured it was a good transition kit since it's not, um, it doesn't scream fall, but here is page two. I just love it. It's just gorgeous. And here is page one. Again, this is a kit that I just can't decide which one I like better. They're both just simply gorgeous. And I do have the full kit box so beautiful and i have the functional boxes as well and i do have the modern fall swatches with the um date dots and the dates the days of the week so let's get started i did use the same setup last week and i loved it today is saturday the 27th um, so I did use the, the swatches here and the weekend banner and all that fun stuff and it just worked out great um, And here's where I used like some of the full boxes and some of the um, other functional things and it worked out great I loved how decorated my spread looked so we are going to get started with that and that being said um, I believe I have three pages of page two and four pages of page one. So we're gonna do page one on these two pages because I like to have the pages match. So then page, sorry, I gotta go into December for the next two. So then page two will be December 1st and 2nd, bananas. Then page one will be December 3rd and 4th. And page two will be Sunday, December 5th. Perfect. All right. So how is everybody doing? It is early in the morning as usual. It's 648 right now. I am filming this on, like I said, on Saturday the 27th. Um, nobody is awake yet that I know of. The twins actually spent the night at the Rendlers, which are good friends. Um, today is Jordan's birthday, my godson, and so they spent the night at Jordan's house last night. Um, he is turning two years old, and so they had a sleepover with his big sister, Angela. And then they are gonna go help Sam with setting up for the birthday party today. And then we are just gonna meet them at the birthday party and that is Sadie, of course, because right on schedule, of course she needs to something interrupt. So sorry, and now she's gonna drink water because that's just classic Sadie. So I apologize for that. Okay. Sorry, I had to uh, mute the camera for a minute just because of Sadie. But anyway, like I was saying, so the twins stayed over there and they're gonna help Sam set up for the party this morning. And then we will meet them over there later and join for the birthday party. So that is our plan today. The party is at noon. So exciting. I cannot believe that Jordan is two years old. I don't know why these kids think they could just keep growing up and you know just oh just crazy just crazy Jordan is so sweet and he right now he's super into Mickey Mouse so I think it's gonna be a pretty much a Mickey Mouse themed birthday party which is super cute his first birthday party was a Star Wars theme um, you know like a, he is one with the universe or whatever you know the, whatever the star wars thing is or um th there's sass with this one i can't remember i don't remember all right so what am i gonna do for the 
Which one am I going to do for... I think I'm going to go with the light one for this. So this is Monday. And this is the 29th. And then I might as well just make Tuesday while I'm here. Oh, that's cute. I like that. All right. So, yeah. We're going to go have a party today. And then we have bowling league later tonight. Um, hubby and I have been doing bowling, like, outside of bowling league. And every time we bowl on our own, I'm, like, killing it. Like, I had a game, um, like, the last, we, we bowled a couple days ago. And I had a game that was 174, which is really good for me. Like, that's really high, you guys. And I'm like, are you serious? Like, who is this bowler? Like, can I make sure that she shows up for bowling league? Because that I'm, I was killing it, you guys. Um, and so I'm really hoping that I can bowl like that at league for one of these games. Um, just because obviously, you know, our team needs the points. And um, that's super exciting for our team. So, say a little prayer that, you know, my 174 self can show up for, um, for league tonight. Because... We need, um, we need to start winning some more games here. Because we're not doing so hot. We do, you we're okay, but we're, we don't win very many games. Like, versus our competitors. So, we're probably pretty low on the totem pole as far as, like, the league scoring goes. We're not, like, the best in our league. And, you know, this is actually a monetary league, so you get money at the end. And, you know, we don't want to be, like, the person who gets the least amount of money in the league. You know, we want to get, like some money so anyway just say a little uh, little prayer for uh, married with children which is our bowling team name that uh, we do well tonight so thank you guys for that and then every day they have a, a raffle and the raffle um, every, you it, it's like a rollover raffle basically so um, every week you can win minimally, you can win $40 and then it like rolls over and then it becomes, um, $80 and then, you know, $40 every week thereafter. So if nobody wins it, it becomes 80 and then 120 and whatever. So I don't know what it's at this week. Um, I think last time somebody did win it. So I think today it's probably only at $40. So the $40 weeks, it's kind of like a bummer. You don't, it's not like worth it to stay because depending on how fast you bowl, like you are pretty much done really quick, depending. Um, and then you're like, oh my gosh, you have to stay so late. And then the kids are at home with um, like Lauren and Madison watching, are watching Angela and Jordan at the house. And so we, we don't like to stay like super late just in case the kids, um, you know, are acting up or whatever. And because Jordan and Angela are still little, we don't want them to, you know, be up so late. Um, so sometimes we don't stay, but if it's like 120, we usually try to stay just because it's obviously like worth it then. We've never won, but you know, you never know. We might win one day. That would be exciting. I'd be happy to go home with $120 in my pocket. To be honest, I'd probably like split it with my teammates. I'd probably be like, you guys each can have $20 and we'll go home happy. We'll all go home happy, you know, or I'd buy everybody a round of drinks or something. Even though Sam and I generally, like this year I haven't really, I don't really drink that much at bowling league. Um, it's just not like my thing. Um, but, you know, some days Sam and I have drinks, but most of the time we don't. We just chill. Um, you know, when the kids are there, they we usually buy the kids like food and stuff and they they want like treats and they want french fries and pizza. And then that's when you're like, holy cow, bar food is so expensive because you're like nickel and dime. They're like nickel and dime in you. The kids are 
<laughs> for all this stuff and they know how which is the crazy part they know how to go up to the bar and be like yes can i please get cheese fries and put it on the rendler tab or put it on the urso tab and i just think that is so hilarious i mean it's like funny but not funny because they know that uh the dads open up a tab at the beginning of the night so they can get their beers and the kids know that they can go up there and add food to the tab. So anyway, it's just funny, but that hasn't happened this year because Madison and Lauren have been watching the little ones and so they haven't been staying for league this year. And actually the league rules have changed and so the kids aren't really even allowed to stay. Like they're allowed to stay, but if they do stay, they have to like stay behind the thing. They're not allowed like down below, like where the actual bowling takes place. They have to stay in the back where um, the upper, like the upper deck part. I don't know how to explain it, but if you've been bowling, you know kind of what I'm talking about. Um, just for safety reasons and for distraction wise, that way none of the bowlers get distracted by little kids because it is a monetary league and you know, they wanna, everybody wants to make money, so. Whoops, I just messed up that sticker. Darn it, I pulled too fast. Anyway, so how was everybody's Thanksgiving? I seriously had the best Thanksgiving. It was, it was such a great Thanksgiving. We, um, the kids helped me cook all day long and they they fought a little bit in the beginning and I basically was like if y'all are gonna fight in my kitchen you're not gonna be allowed and I said the next person that fights in my kitchen is getting kicked out and you're not gonna be invited back and they stopped fighting and that was that was that and it worked they they didn't fight the rest of the day and seriously they killed it they they killed it they all helped me make food they did amazing um, they killed it the food was amazing everything was amazing Penny was amazing we got to see family we haven't seen in forever um, uh, Trying to get this little sticker piece off. Um, but yeah, it was a really great day. The house looked great. Um, the food was great. Sadie behaved for the most part. She did steal some, some turkey in the beginning. And then uh, when we were eating, we locked her in our bedroom. And she subsequently, you know, uh, scratched at the door the entire time we were eating but I just told people to ignore her and everybody ignored her and uh, she was very upset the whole time but as soon as we let her out she was totally fine like it's not like she then rebelled and tried to steal you know everybody's dessert or anything she just was like fine I get it you know I get why you locked me up cuz I'm naughty <laughs> I'm naughty when food is around and uh, she was fine because then all the food was put away and um, she was good. So, but yeah, Thanksgiving was great. We um, had some delicious food. We had delicious pie. We had the Viennetta cake if you watched my haul. That was really good, you guys. If you guys ever have a chance to purchase one of those, definitely do. It was really good. And I, I swear we had that as, as a kid. My mom doesn't remember, but I swear we had that as a kid. Maybe I'm thinking of something else, but I really feel like we had that as a kid and like I said maybe I'm totally off and we didn't but I don't know um, but yeah it was just light and airy and like just crispy it was just delicious I really loved it and uh, you know yesterday I had to work um, at my second job and it was a really long day my feet were tired and sore by the end of the day um, because I am a cashier at Menards as my second job and I had to work from 8 a.m. until 6 p.m. so like I said it was a long day but the day honestly went by fast the register that I was on was kind of like way on the end literally it was register one and like nobody knew I was there I 
Like they want us to go and recruit recruit customers basically if we're not busy. And so I would go to the end of my aisle and um, people would be like, oh, are you open? Yes, I'm open. Please come in my line because I don't have any customers. And then I'd get like two or three customers because they would see other customers in the line and then I would have nobody again. And then we'd do it all over again and I'd have a couple customers and then I would have nobody. Um, and it was just a crazy like, you know, back and forth of feast or famine for me. Um, there were quite a few like contractors that came through to purchase like non fr Black Friday things. Um, I did purchase a few things on my um, on my lunch, like for the kids that I saw people purchase throughout the morning um, that I thought the kids would like. So that was good. That made me happy that I was able to get a few good sale items. So that was good. Um, I was happy that I was able to grab a few things that I wanted to grab. Um, there were a few things that I couldn't find, which which kind of made me bummed. But you know, it's like you only have so many so many minutes in in the lunchtime, um, and then you have to accommodate for for lines. But of course, I went through my line because nobody went through my line, and so the girl that was covering for me for lunch, um, you know, I went through I went through her line. Um, when I went to check out for my for my lunch and stuff and um, so yeah but it was it was great and um, it's uh then we I got home and um, we were the plan the plan was that we were gonna go try to go bowling with Sam and Angela just to for um, Sam hubby and I to get some bowling practice in and then for the kids to be able to go bowling. And apparently we did not realize how many people wanted to go bowling on Black Friday. The lead that, the bowling alley that we practice, that we bowl at has um, had a really good Black Friday special. And so there was so many people bowling there. And when we walked in, they were like, well, it's about a two hour wait. And it was already like seven o'clock by the time we got there. And so it would have been like a nine o'clock start time. And we were like, yeah, no, that's not happening because we have kids you know um, and so we were like all right well we're gonna go try the other bowling alley in town and if they are too busy then I told hubby I was like well if they're too busy then we're gonna go shopping and you and Christopher can just go home and chill and so that was the plan so we get to the other bowling alley and we pull in the parking lot and my husband was like so shopping then and I was like yep shopping so we um, I get out of the car go to Sam's car and then um, as we're as we're getting ready to pull away, Hubby gets out of the car and he's like, Christopher wants to go shopping too. And I was like, all right, fine. As long as he's gonna behave, you know, that's fine. So Christopher gets in the car and um, we all go shopping. And, you know, of course, Christopher's like bored out of his skull because he wanted to go like video game shopping. And uh, we weren't, we were just, you know, bumming around Target and, you know, we, it was basically like all girls and, and Christopher. So of course we wanted to stop and look at clothes and shoes and girly, more girly things, I guess. Um, so I think he was a little irritated, but I think overall he had fun. He, he didn't like that we stopped at Burlington Coat Factory, which is basically like, um, definitely more clothes focused. Um, but I did convince him to try on two shirts. One was a Puma shirt. Um, and it looked so cute on him. It was like a sweater. Um, and it was on clearance. It was only 10 bucks. And I was like, Christopher, you should try this on. TT, which is my sister. I was like, TT really likes Puma and she would love this on you. So I finally got convinced him to try on the Puma sweater. And it was blue and like this tealish color. And it looked so stinking cute on him. So I convinced him to try it on and he's like, you know what, I don't hate it. And I was like, thank you. Thank you for trying it on. So Christopher got a new sweater. So that was good. Cause he's like, I do need some more long sleeve shirts. I was like, all right. So he, he has a new sweater. Um, and then Lauren found a sweater cause they had um, sweaters on at Target for 10 bucks that were like a really nice knitted sweater. 
Um, I was going to give it to her for Christmas, but apparently when she was getting ready to get her stuff ready to spend the night at Sam's, she pulled it out of the, the bag. And she's like, I know what I'm wearing tomorrow. And she pulled the sweater out of the bag and I'm like, oh my gosh. So there went that Christmas present. But anyway, um, and I don't think Madison got anything except for a bag of candy because that's how Madison rolls. But um, yeah, so, and I don't think I got anything for myself except for a bag of candy. But that's how the cookie crumbles when you're a mom, so. Uh, and then I did find a couple things for Bailey for Christmas, so that made me happy too because I was trying to find something for her um, and I'm not going to talk about it because she sometimes watches my videos, but I was looking for something for her and I found it on Amazon, but it was really expensive. And so, um, when we were at the store, I saw something that was similar and I was like, oh, maybe they have something else here that's, that's like that. And then we were looking and I was like, no way, they do have something. So I found something at the, the one store we were at. So I purchased that and that was super exciting. Um, and then we got some... Um, something else for Jordan for his birthday today. Um, some Mickey Mouse pajamas because that's what, like I said, that's what he's really into. And um, I think that was it that I can recall. So as soon as I'm done with this, then I'm going to scurry through my Amazon packages because there's something in there for Jordan that I need to find. Um, I've just... Um, I've just been throwing all my Amazon packages in my closet because most of them have been for the kids for Christmas. But... Um, Jordan does have a Chris have his birthday present in there, so I need to go through them and pull out that one birthday present out of there and wrap that today. Because he's two, and I figured I'm going to wrap his present. I'm not going to put it in a bag because I want to see him unwrap it. Um, so we're going to wrap that today. I'll, I'll probably, maybe I'll wait till Christopher gets up and then he can help me wrap that. And then that will be all for this morning, and then the party's at noon, so that'll be most of the morning. And then bowling league tonight. So, so yeah, I just talked my way through all of that stuff. And the dots that I used were from Orange Umbrella Co. These are the circle check circles. All right, let's get started. And like I said, this is the kit called Modern Fall. <laughs> I'm gonna be using my Sharpie S gel today. And let's get to it. Got all my custom scripts here. I'm just gonna find a few that I know I'm gonna need. then crash sorry about that here are all the custom scripts I need <laughs> oh my goodness it's always something isn't it I swear and I swear by the moon and the stars in the sky I'll be there for better or worse, to death do us part. Love me with no love you with every beat of my heart. And I swear. All right, let me do these things that are every day, and I will be right back. And I swear. So the today stickers were from My Olive Blue, 
The top three stickers were from Life in Envelopes. The Meds and Vitamin stickers were from Wonder Sticker Co. And the Sticker Me, oh, the top to do stickers were from Sticker Me Happy. Just in case you guys wanted to order any of those. I always try to share the shops. I don't always do a good job, but um, just wanted to share those. All right, so now let's get into the plans, shall we? So Monday is a, ba a pretty basic day. We don't have a too much going on. I know I have to work from home, so that's kind of boring, but you know, gotta earn that money. So we're just gonna grab one of these little Wonder Sticker Co. labels and put this right here. I love this color. It's like this mustardy yellow color. We're just gonna put this right here. Beautiful. Seven thirty to four as usual, and then Madison does have choir. It is a longer span of time, so that's why I am putting it on a bigger box, and then I do have Menards. Yeah, there we go. That works. Probably should not have put them both on a big box, but that's okay. That's okay. You live and learn. Um, and then my Monday reminders are my time card. As always. And then I think that's it for Monday, honestly. Um, and then Monday, uh, Tuesday, we have work from home as well. So yeah, hopefully you guys are sticking around and you didn't just, you know, hear, hear all of my Thanksgiving stories and then now you're bored. Because once it gets to the plans, I like tend to focus on the plans and don't um, really talk a whole lot about stories. I get very distracted. Um, I do have ADD, if you guys do not know, so I like generally have to really focus on what I'm doing or else I will get distracted. So especially when I do early morning plan with me's, I definitely have to focus because um, I don't take my medicine until later in the morning because um, it will mess with my day. Like I won't be able to focus later in the evening or later in the work day if I take it too early. So just so you know, that's uh, what happens. But I do like filming in the morning because nobody else is awake yet. So there's that. In case you needed a little bit of, uh, you know, anything in any more um, information into my life. There's that. Um, and then I'm gonna put a little flag on here for 2.30. I have to do a sleep study. My neurologist wants me to do a sleep, sleep study for um, sleep apnea, which I don't think I have, but just in case they want me to do a sleep study. So I need to pick up equipment for that to do like a home sleep study. So there is that. And then Lauren has duet or solo from five to six. And then Lauren has duet from six to seven. And then Madison has competition right after that. These are all gonna be on the same box because they kind of butt up, butt up against each other, like time-wise. And I don't have a ton of time since I had to add that pickup in there. So that's from that. Lauren's solo is that. Six to seven is her duet. And then seven to 8.45 is Madison's competition. And then I didn't miss anything. I'm gonna put Kenosha in here because that's where I need to go. Um, and then this I'm gonna leave here because that's my details for that. And then I have to remember to do the, all of that jazz. I have to call when I get there. Um, and it's curbside, so that's good. I don't even have to get out of my car, to be honest, which is really nice. <laughs> but yeah, I think that's everything for that day, except I am gonna put down the water plants for Tuesday. 
and I'm gonna use one of these medium sized ones. So when you order from Wonder Sticker Co, this is how the sheet typically comes. You get the small, the medium, and then the large. But if you don't want the different sizes, you can explain to her that you don't want the different sizes in the custom, and I don't know what's on my fingers. I got some kind of ink on it and I can't get it off. You can explain that you only want medium or small and medium, or you can say that you only want large or only want medium. So um, for the difference is I can show you so this is the first time I ordered from her. I got small, medium, and large. And then this is the second time I ordered. I said I only wanted small and medium. So this is what I got the second time was I got small and medium. And then this is the first time when I got small, medium, and large. So I just wanted to show you those two examples. Um, but Wonder Sticker Co. is awesome and I definitely love her. Okay, so that's everything for Tuesday. I don't have any reminders that I need for that. Then Wednesday we have work from home again. And again, this is the small and medium. And Wednesday we do have a couple extra things. So actually I'm gonna put that down there and then I'm gonna put a sticker here. Um, yeah. Okay, so I have this return equipment um, flag because I need to be there that is so crooked oh my goodness I have to be there at 730 between 730 and 830 so we're gonna put that first of the day so I will be a little bit late to work which is okay thankfully I have a boss that's super understanding so we're just gonna put that right up there and I won't put a time in just because it'll depend on what time I get back from returning that equipment and then I'll just end up working later that day. Um, and then Madison has choir. There's church at 6.15. I don't know if I'll be able to make that. Lauren has her competition. And I already did my work from home. So what am I missing? Oh, I have a meeting. I'm like, I know I'm missing something. I pulled this was from an old, um, from my, my thing last week, the kit that I used. Not last week, two weeks ago. So I just pulled this. This is a Wonder Sticker Co. kit that I used, and this is just for one-on-one. -on -one. And that is at 1 p.m. This is just a one-on-one -on -one with my boss. So we're gonna put that right here. And then church, put there. And then Lauren's competition. Oh, I need to put Madison, Madison's choir in here too. So let's just put, um, we'll just put Madison's choir in here. Because I have to pick her up, so I definitely don't want to forget that. Tuesdays and Thursdays are busy days for us, for sure. All right, so this is from 3.40. What, did I, t I totally missed Wednesday? What am I doing? What, what am I doing? This is Wednesday. Oh my goodness, this is all Wednesday's plans. Oh, I don't even have undo, you guys. I'm so upset right now. All right, well. Well. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much, sticker. Thank you so, so much. I'm just being super gentle. Literally am in shock right now. Cause you guys know Plum Paper is not very forgiving with stickers. <sighs> OMG, I'm, I had to hold my breath on that one you guys. Wow, this is something. 
I cannot believe I did that. But these are literally coming up like butter. I, Jennifer, I owe you my life right now. You have no idea how grateful I am. Holy crap. Except now, you know, this day, Thursday and Friday are gonna look like shit because I messed up. Oh no. These are overlapping, so they're not gonna come up nice. Crap on a cracker. Jennifer, are you serious? You guys, her stickers are coming up and they're not ripping. I am shook right now, literally in shock. I just got them all up and they didn't ruin my paper. Not an ounce, like it didn't rip anything. I'm literally in shock. Literally in shock right now. Jennifer, you are amazing. 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 Oh my gosh. And now I like this even better because it's, it's more clean. All right. Well, lesson for the day. Make sure you're on the right day before you start blabbing off. And that's why I can't write and talk at the same time. Okay, I feel so much better now. Thank you so much, Jennifer. Seriously, I owe you. I owe you, girl, I owe you. Oh my goodness, I'm, ah! I'm, I, I can't even right now, I can't even. All right, so moving on to Thursday now, for real. Work from home. And then the girls have competition, not competition, they have technique classes, which they loathe. <laughs> like, they love it, but there's some days that they just don't want to go to technique classes. Because it's not as fun as like competition classes, I get it. It's like the boring classes, but they still have to go. Like, they, they don't have a choice. So, they don't always like to go. <laughs> but, like I said, they don't have a choice, so. No choice in the matter. And I'm going to put down this fun box here for their technique classes because I can and I want to. Because it basically takes up, takes up the rest of the night. So, And I wish I had a, a script that said Twins Technique. I need to order that from Wonder Sticker Co. too. So it starts with Tap, which is their least favorite. And then it goes on to Jazz, which is their second favorite and then hip-hop which is their favorite Madison does not she's not doing tap right now she's just not into it right now so so this is gonna be 7:30 to 4 and then this is 4:45 to 7 and then that's it for Thursday honestly Thursday is very easy today this week And then, that is it for Thursday, like I said. I guess I could write Twins Technique right here. Then, we move on to Friday, and I get paid, and I got a lot of, a lot of reminders. Lot of reminders. So, let's put some reminders in here. Um, I kind of want to put them on... I'm gonna put some of them on these little flags. So this is the day where we get our bonus. So we're gonna put that on one of these little flags cause woohoo, thank you Jesus. And then I have to order some shoes for Madison cause she has a choir concert. So there's that. And then Lauren needs an outfit for her, her band concert. They're very specific on what they're allowed to wear. 
I need to mail something to my cousin and something that I needed to mail away like a million years ago. And then this one I'm gonna put on a flag because it's something I really need to do. So we're gonna put that on the flag just so I don't forget. All right, sticker residue, yuck. Oh, and this day I have a day off, so haha. <laughs> um, let's use a no work. No work. So hallelujah for that, that's exciting. These are from Life in Envelopes. I like that they have a, a variety of colors. So I say no work, but I do have to work at my at Menards. So let's grab a one of these and do that one on one of these boxes. That's not until later in the day, though. And then the twins have ballet, and it is garbage day as well. We're just gonna put garbage day right here. That's where I'm feeling it. And then we're gonna start with ballet, or no, we're gonna start with Menards at the bottom. because that's basically what's the last of, of my day. So that's from six to nine. And then next after that is, is ballet, but hubby will bring the girls to that and pick them up. So that's 7.45 to 8.30, and then Madison has choir. And I don't know why I just put 5.30, because it doesn't, it ends at 5.30, but that's okay. And then I have an appointment at Buick. My car's making some weird noises lately, so gotta go get that looked at. And that is at 1.30. And then I have an eye doctor appointment at 10.15, just for my like annual checkup. To give me some new contacts, guys. Even though my eyes, I feel like, have not changed, but apparently it's been a little while since I've been there. So they were like, you need to come back in or else we're not gonna sell you any contacts. So I was like, all right, fine, I'll come in. So. That's that, um, and I think that's everything. Yeah, that's everything for, um, oh, and I need to do um, this as well. So, yeah, money for Secret Santa. We're doing a Secret Santa. Um, we do it every year, but this year we've all, we've included my sister and Bailey's boyfriend, Zach. Um, so it is me, hubby, and our four kids, plus Bailey's boyfriend, Zach, and my sister, TT. So my Tiffany is her name. So that is super exciting. Um, and we've now realized that Sam is gonna take the twins shopping. Um, so that's gonna be awesome. And I'm gonna take Christopher shopping. He already told me who he has and I will not say a word to anybody. So even if they pay me off, I will not tell who Christopher has for his secret Santa. Um, and it will be a secret that remains between him and I. Um, so there's that. And then let's move on to the fourth. Um, I do have to work at Menards. Quite a, a, quite a long day. So we're gonna use one of these bigger boxes here. Um, and then Saturday I have to, or you know, Sunday I have to work too. So let's do, do that. And then we can put those stickers away. <laughs> Um, and then the twins teach on Saturday. And then, yeah. All right, so what is first? We're gonna put Menards first. Working nine to five. What a way to make a living, barely getting by. That's what I'm working on Saturday the 4th. So that's why I'm singing that song, guys. And then the twins teach from 10 to 11.15. And then Lauren has tumbling from 1.30 to 2.30. And 
and I owe $10 for tumbling. So I have to make sure that I give that to Lauren or that I pay Miss Mandy ahead of time. Um, and that is everything for that. So I'm gonna put here, pay Mandy $10. And I think that's everything for that. I'm not sure what else. Um, shopping question mark. And then this day is exciting. Um, I do have to work, like I said, not nine to five, thankfully. This is only from 10 to two. So that won't be a long day. This will be a short day. This is literally just from 10 to two. I won't even get a break. So that's how short it is. Um, and then there is the case swim banquet, which is exciting. I'm very excited that I get to go with Bailey to that. That is at 5.30. Let's just put this down here at the end of the day. And it is $10 per person. And it's just her and I that are gonna go to that. And then there is a meeting in the, me in the middle of the day, but I'm not gonna make it. 11.30 LOL meeting. I'll put it in there, but I'm not gonna make it. You'll have to give me minutes or something. But like I said, I'll put it in there. Just in case. And look at that, I used almost the whole sheet of those. I love them. They're great, you guys. And then let's put the weekend banner on Saturday. If I can get it without ribbon it. There we go. There we go. There we go. And then I don't know these other boxes. I'm not, I don't know where to put them. But throughout the week, I will find a place to put them. So yeah, there's that. Um, I think that is everything, honestly, for the week, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. And I can't wait to play with you guys next week. Bye, guys.